Hi, I'm Michael Butler, Artistic Director of Center Rep, the resident professional company of the Lester Center for the Arts, and this is Inside Center Rep. Today we're talking about our current off-center show, The Lady with All the Answers, starring Carrie Sean as Ann Landers, and I'm very pleased to have Carrie as our guest today in conversation about this wonderful play and the character of Ann Landers. So Carrie Sean, welcome. Thanks, Michael. I'm so happy to be here with you today. So here you are playing Ann Landers in a one-woman show about Ann Landers called The Lady with All the Answers. Can you just tell us, um, just for those who, the few people in the world who may not know who Ann Landers was, can you just tell us? Sure. Um, well, she wrote her first column. She was an advice columnist here in the United States, although um, I think she started out with just a few newspapers, the Chicago Sun-Times, mm -hmm. and then over the years, it, I think it reached about 1,200 newspapers across the country. So she really was America's First Lady yeah, of they Advice. Yeah, called her America's Mom. Oh. Yep. America's Mom. America's Mom. What nut is going to write to a newspaper columnist for advice? Right there. <laughs> and you, and you too, and you. Oh, because you need someone to listen to your side of the story. Somebody who won't yell at you and tell you that you're crazy or lying. And most of the time you tell me I have nowhere else to turn. Do I throw the bum out? Do I schlep him to AA? How do I handle a boy who wants to go all the way? I'm a lousy father. I don't like my stepdaughter. Or worse, I'm a lousy father. I'm in love with my stepdaughter. <laughs> all the questions and problems of life. Now, Epi, or Ann Landis, uh, I, I forget where she grew up, was it, uh, it wasn't Chicago where she lived. Uh, she grew up in uh, Sioux City, Iowa. In Iowa, mm -hmm. because she has a very distinctive way of speaking. Yeah. It was very unusual, even for that time. And um, and I, one of the things I, I mean, there's many things I love about what you do with this role, but one of the things I love is that you really inhabit all of Ann Landers and you know, her, not only her look, which was quite famous, mm -hmm. but her, her way of talking. And, I mean, is that a typical Iowan uh, accent or, I mean, it's so I, unusual. I think that there's a cadence to it, you mm, know, yeah. and there's a little ash sail in there too. Right. It's yeah. sort of like a, if Sean Connery was a woman and from Iowa. <laughs> yeah. It sort of be like Sean Connery is <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> I know. How many of you are married? <laughs> oh, come on. You tell me everything else, and I do mean everything, so show me. How many of you are married? How many of you have been married 10 years or more? 20? 30? Who's been married 40 years or more? <gasps> Congratulations! Can you show me 50? Who's been... <gasps> 50 years or more? Mazel tov! <laughs> How many of you just feels like 50? <laughs> I think the playwright, David Rambo, did a fantastic job, along with the help of Margot Howard, Anne's daughter, or Epi's daughter, um, in capturing, you know, a, a slice of who she was yeah. and what she really was all about. I mean, it's great at dealing with mm -hmm. the, the really fun stuff we want to hear about, you know, all the columns about sex and yeah. You know, intimacy and, <laughs> and, and the hate and, letters she got. Right, and you know, all the like <laughs> scoopy, fun, weird stuff. And uh -huh. the play really gives a good dollop of that, which is, you know, makes for really it's juicy funny and theater. Yeah. yeah. This right here, these are the letters for my book, the sex chapter. Oh, it's the biggest one. Not that size matters. <laughs> but by the way, I was the first person to discuss that subject in a newspaper. <laughs> we are in a sexual revolution, my dears, and these are your dispatches from the front. I bet you want to hear some of these, don't you? But she was just so ahead of her time because she, you know, for 47 years, starting in 1955, really became friends with all of the people that wrote into her and she wrote 365 columns a year every mm. day she'd never missed one and even if she had to go on a trip she would 
do things in advance so they never would miss running her column. And I think she just really loved people and humanity mm -hmm. and was always um, someone who fought for human rights and animal rights and just rights in every way, just for life. The things that surprised me, you know, about her early advocacy for, for uh, a lot of ideas and groups and uh, that were yeah. pretty, she was pretty ahead of her time and, yeah. and really at the forefront of several movements and I was really impressed with that. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not afraid of any criticism. The National Rifle Association, the anti-abortion people, the liquor and tobacco lobbyists, all those guys, they despise me. And I couldn't be more proud if they don't like what I say, they call out the troops. And if you don't like what I say, I hear from you, too, such sweet, helpful, understanding letters. And this play, uh, you know, without giving too much plot away, but the thing that makes this night in Ann Landers' life special is that mm -hmm. there's something she's wrestling with the night of you know, this play that makes, that's different than other nights. Yeah. You hinted at that. What, yeah. what is it without sort of well, giving too much away? Uh, this play takes place um, in June of 1975, and um, she'd been married 36 years, mm. and always in her column, when she, so she started in 1955, I don't know, you can do the math, but mm. so 1975, she's already well into 20 years mm -hmm. of her writing, and her, she discovers, because her husband lets her know, that um, I think actually her daughter found out. In really? The yeah. And I think her daughter found out about the... It's doubly affair. embarrassing. And I think then she made sure she thought yeah. her mom should know and that somehow... So she has to... But Jules she's... Told this, her. this really devastating personal yeah. thing has happened and but she's, she's got to write a column about she's it. She's always been against divorce. Yeah. Always. And when the readers would write... I mean, when the writers would write into her, you know, and she'd read their letters and she'd say, do everything you can. And I think when then it happens to her, um, she just... She doesn't, she just knows that the marriage is over. Hmm. So she's writing this column, that's the play based on um, this famous column that she wrote, you know, to let her readers know that she's, she's getting a divorce mm -hmm. and why. Dear readers, in my 20 years as Ann Landers, this is the most difficult column I ever tried to put together. I do so after many hours of soul searching should it be written at all? Would it be appropriate? Would it be fair? I have decided yes, because you, my readers, are also my friends. Well, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a wonderful play about, you know, uh, somebody who is really part of our American uh, life our for culture. so many years. Yeah. And uh, yes, really part of our cultural identity, yeah. you know, in a, in a very particular early part of our sort of development with some of these cultural and sociological ideas. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's important, but it, on top of that, it's just absolutely delightful. And, and you're fantastic in it, and everybody should absolutely oh. come and see you take on this role because it's, it's a really great mix of actress and role, I think. And, yeah. and here we are in Ann Landers' and living room. And, and the, the theater space is like a living room, so yes, it's, and the it's great to sort of. Yes, that come, it will be different yeah. every night because like meta theater. Because they'll be my, uh, they'll be my partner. Yeah. And they'll be, I ask them questions. You ask, and they and they can answer, right? They can answer. I know that's well, a. I love that kind of theater. Not too many people. <laughs> have well, I heard lots of answers. I don't know. I, the I, show uh, may become very long. Well, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> for as an actress, that's such a, an interesting. Thing to deal with. I mean, it's like handling live snakes, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, they might bite. You have to charm them. Uh, <laughs> We're going to have you know? fun. Yeah. It's going to be a great time. It's very fun. I can't yeah. wait to see it with an audience. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, really pleasure talking with you. Thanks for oh. joining me here on your beautiful set Thank to talk you. about. Kelly Ty did such a magnificent yeah. job, and everyone here at Center Rep that, you know, that uh, it, you know, everybody put their whole heart and soul into this production, and um, boy, Epi can sure feel the support. So yeah, it's great. That's great. <laughs> so, and thank you for joining us for Inside Center Rep, and um, do rush to get tickets uh, 943-SHOW or www.centerrep.org. Thanks.